Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel and you're watching another episode of Restaurant Remake. Today I am listening to my viewer and a lot of you guys share your comments at my Chinese takeout fried chicken wings and if you have not yet watched that fried chicken wings, I will link it above and I will put it on the description box below as well. So I heard some of you guys requesting some other favorite Chinese takeout dishes so I am starting a brand new series just for you. So if you have not yet subscribed to the Food Travel Shopping channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button below and hit the bell notification for the latest video and update. So without further ado, today I am going to start out with chicken lo mein. This is my family style chicken lo mein. This will serve the whole family. So this is going to be around four to five people. Look how nice it is. You can still see the steam coming out of it. Freshly made. So let me show you how to make this chicken lo mein a very simple recipe and you will never visit your Chinese local mom and pop store ever again. Okay, here are the ingredients to make our Chinese takeout chicken lo mein. So, so I have one pound of chicken thigh here and you want to cut it in um, strip here. And as you can see, this is the fresh lo mein noodle. So this is something that you can get in a Chinese uh, supermarket. Okay, so this is a well-known brand here. <clears throat> and I want to talk about this. If you want this to be quick and easy, and I know a lot of you guys are, you know, working and you just crave for some Chinese food, definitely get the classic coleslaw. It is already cut with your uh, carrots and cabbage. This is a great buy. So I bought, I got this at Audi. Um, I don't know if you guys have an Audi at your local uh, where you live, but this is perfect. Cabbage and carrots already cut and juvenate for you. So, okay. So first of all, we are going to marinate our chicken here. We're gonna put our light soy sauce. the dark soy sauce. Okay, so we have our sesame oil. Okay, white pepper. If you don't have any white pepper, you can actually substitute it with uh, black pepper. But usually in Chinese cooking style, we want the white pepper. Okay, so I have some Chinese rice wine here. Okay, cornstarch. as well as sugar. Okay, I know some of you guys don't like to put sugar in your marinated sauce, but Chinese cooking, you have to put the sugar. Okay, so in the Chinese cooking, sugar is kind of essential. It's just gonna give you the well balance of, you know, from the soy sauce, not too salty. At the same time, the sugar really help marinate the, any type of meat any type of meat it, because it just really tenderized the meat. So that's the reason why. But essentially, you just wanna mix this all together. So you're gonna mix until you don't have any more lumps in terms of your cornstarch here. Okay, so basically this is ready. All right, so we're gonna put this to the side and we're going to kind of marinate it for 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, okay? You don't have to overdo it, all right? So I know some of you guys, like I said, you know, if you're working, you know, you want to have a quick bite. So this is actually probably a recipe that you want to consider. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and boil some water here because I am going to use some hot water to actually rinse out the noodles. Okay, so if you have an electric kettle, okay, so go ahead and do the boil water right now. And then while the chicken is being marinated. Okay, so while the water is being boiled, I'm going to go ahead and mince my garlic right here using my tool. And in the meantime, if you have not chopped your onions, you can actually go slice your onion in between these time. So that's great use of your 15 minutes. Okay, I'm also going to just cut this open. Okay, so in the meantime, I am going to cut my vegetable open here. 
gonna transfer it to a bowl. Okay, so in the meantime, again, I'm still waiting for my water. We're just gonna cut our noodles and put it in a bowl. And then we are going to loosen these up here with hot water. And that's where usually a lot of times the restaurant also do this and then, you know, and then they just take it back out and then they, they're gonna stir fry it, so. Now this recipe is gonna be good for four people. So you wanna get two pack. Each pack is 16 ounce. Okay, if you have a chopstick, get ready with a chopstick. Otherwise you can use a tong. Okay, so the water is ready and we're just gonna transfer this over to the noodle right away into our bowl. Okay, so you can use your tongue to actually, and I found it easier just to use a chopstick here just to break the noodles a little bit. So using an, uh, a chopstick, it, you won't actually, it's a little bit better because you're not gonna ruin the noodle shape Okay. Okay, so I already added some oil here to my wok here. This is a non-stick wok, and I just like to use a non-stick wok so it's just a little bit easier to maneuver. Okay, so you're doing at home, something like this would be fun. Okay, we do wanna preheat our wok here first. All right, so after a minute here, I'm gonna now add in my onions. Okay, at the same time, we can add in our garlic. Okay, kind of loosen up the onions here. So do this about 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna start prepping for the chicken here and I'm gonna make a little center here so that I'm gonna place the chicken in. I'm gonna use the tong here and actually just take the chicken out. We wanna, you know, kind of drip those sauce into the bowl. All right, so we don't want to get too many sauce here. Now it is preferred to actually kind of drain some of the sauce first, which I did and I did not show you. So I got a bowl of like sauce here that I reserved. So kind of drain that out. And then now we can actually just kind of transfer all the chicken into our wok here. All right, so kind of stir fry them. Okay, kind of stir fry it for a minute here. Okay, it smells so good already. Okay, so as you can see, the chicken has started to kind of have that white, you know, it's really kind of started to cook here. All right, so now we're gonna add in our vegetables, which is the cabbage and the carrots. Okay, with the water here, kind of just, Add a little bit water here as we stir frying. And we're gonna stir fry this about for another two minutes here. So if it's a little bit too dry, you can actually add a little bit more water because, okay, this is a good technique. Okay, you can see the vegetable starting to really cook through here, okay, starting to soften, all right. Okay, again, I'm gonna make a little hole here. Okay, I'm gonna add in my noodles now. Okay, we're gonna dump it right in the middle. So now it might be easier to use a tong and then use your spatula, kind of incorporate this in all together. Okay, so with the remaining sauce as well as the water, I want you to just pour the water into the sauce. And then we're gonna stir this a little bit. We're going to just pour it all over our lo mein and we're just going to kind of toss it around. Okay, kind of lower the heat to medium. 
Okay, so this looks really well incorporated with all the chicken and the cabbage and the carrots here. All right, so now we can actually kind of turn the fire, turn the, we can turn off the flame here and we're ready for plating. Hi, so we're ready to plate our chicken lo mein. So let me just go ahead and transfer it over. This is definitely a lot of chicken lo mein. So I mean, to be honest, for the price of this, I mean, the lo mein is cost me, you know, like $2.29 per pack. Okay, and then one pack of chicken, so around what? $4 or so, depending on, you know, the cost per, uh, per pound here. Okay, so I used the chicken thigh, so we're just gonna transfer this over and look how steamy it is. So definitely for the price of an order that you go for the Chinese takeout, you can actually feed the whole family. And in this case, four to, I mean, four to five people. Jeez, look how much we have. I mean, sometimes you like question yourself, it's like, Oh my goodness, it's not that, enough, you know, that, that much, you know, two pack of noodles. But then once you stir fry it, that's the, that's the art of stir frying. Once you stir fry it, you have a lot of noodles. Look at this. A lot of things because you're stir frying all the other ingredients together. And it's just massive. Massive. Look at this. The mountain of lo mein. And of course, you know, the chicken you can actually, when you you know, cook it at home, the best thing is I use organic chicken. So these are organic chicken thigh. Okay, so at the end of every restaurant remake, I always go try out my dish. So let's go ahead and dig in here. Let's get some lo mein with chicken. Goodness. All right. So let's go ahead and take a bite. Still really hot. Mmm. Not overly salty, this is good. Um, I, I prefer my sauce to be lighter, so you can see it's not that dark. And I like it on the lighter side. Oh, it's so good. So glad that I went with the coleslaw pre-cut. That just saves so much time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the chicken lo mein and I would love to hear from you if you're gonna try this out. And if you do try it out, please tell me what you think about the recipe. I will put the ingredients in the description box below. Again, if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe and you think this is a great Chinese lo mein, please go ahead and give a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And I would love to hear what is your favorite dish at the Chinese takeout restaurant. So please go ahead and comment below. Well, thanks for clicking on this video and watching all the way at the end. And I'll see you next time at the Restaurant Remake. Thanks for watching.